are watching the ocean. You hear the sound of the waves. Obviously, you feel the temperature. You also feel something in addition. You feel something which is pleasure, well-being, which is truly the result of an emotion. What is consciousness right now for me? It's actually the assembly of all these different parts. Curiously, what gives that consciousness a unity in all likelihood comes from the fact that it is all happening to me. It's happening in my body. Being conscious is really sensing something that is inside and outside of your body, of your organism. Of course, you need the very primary component is the sensing of the inside. Without that, forget about consciousness. Antonio Damasio is globally recognized for his research into the human brain, the complexity of which he explores. For him, consciousness is the fruit of a perpetual back and forth between our external perceptions and our internal emotions. What we call the mind is just the result of this two-way exchange between our bodies and the world around us. Of course, we are matter, we, we are, you know, ourselves, all our tissues uh, are made of matter. They're made of uh, molecules that are made of atoms, that are made of particles, so that's all matter. But it's matter that has been organized in extremely complex ways. And at certain levels of complexity, something new emerges. In the same way as a tornado emerges from thousands of millions of independent meteorological events, scientists postulate that consciousness emerges from the complex activity of thousands of millions of connections which exist between our environment, our body, and our brain. How can we understand how matter produces mind? During evolution, it appeared an advantageous notion to import a representation of the outside world into the organism. 